Hey guys, it's Sadie, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first tutorial. In this video I'll show you how you can build your own functional single sheds and barns with cottage living. I was a bit bummed to see that the big shed that came with it only allowed one animal, so I just had to come up with something. I will go over step by step of how you can do this yourself, but without further ado, let's start with what you will need. For this demonstration I will only use the base game in Cottage Living. You will also need the cheats BB Move Objects for free item placement and BB Show Hidden Objects for some debug objects. I will also use the build mode version of Tool by Twisted Maxi, which I will link in the description box down below. We will start with a very simple layout. First you build a 2x5 tiles white room. Then you grab the hammer tool and remove the two walls from the front as well as three on each side. And you also remove the ceiling. Then you grab the basement tool and draw a room from the walls to the edge of the deck. We will place most of the decorations from here to prevent blocking on the first floor. To complete the basic layout, let's grab one of the sheds from Cottage Living. You can find them in the outdoor activity section. Place one down and scale it with the tool mod with the following steps. Open up the tool menu with Shift T, left click on the shed to toggle it active, then use the scale option of tool to size it down to 0.04. That's small enough to hide it, but still big enough to click on it. Left click on it again to deactivate it and then close the tool menu with Shift T. Then you want to switch to live mode and shift click on the shed to open up the debug menu. Here you want to click on create a cow. Back in the build mode you will be able to see the animal in their sleeping position and you can make sure that they are standing in the right spot. Now you have the base done and it's time to make this pretty. As mentioned before I will place all decorations from the basement level to prevent them from blocking the shed. Go down to the basement level and grab an arc of your likings. I'm using a base game arc in a wooden swatch. Place it on the center of the back wall. Now you want to resize the door so it sits flush on the outer walls. Open up the tool menu with Shift T and toggle it active left clicking on the door. Use the scale function and scale the door to 1.9. Depending on what door you are using you may want to experiment with the size. Having the door still active you want to elevate it a bit to fit your wall height. It doesn't need to be perfectly flush as we will place a roof on it later on anyways. You can see a shadow that the door is creating but we will remove that later on, as well as the dark color of the decor items. Now let's add wallpapers and flooring. I went with a wooden swatch for the walls and stone and grass for the flooring, but you can use whatever you want. The flooring outside the shed will get removed in the very last steps anyways. Almost looks cute already, right? Let's decorate it a bit more though. At this point everything I'm doing is just to my personal likings, whatever decorations, materials and colors you want to use is totally up to you. I started by adding wooden arcs to all the walls and then filled them in with garden gates. The gates will still function, at least some of them, and swing open which is kinda cool. You can also place gates on the front but place them to the sides like so. If you place a gate on the entrance it will block the shed so it If you place a gate on the entrance it will block the shed so don't do that. I then started to make my way over to the little shed left over by placing the crafted bathtub from the basement. You can use the ceiling of the basement as a guide as to how high you want to place it. Now place a second bathtub on the exact same place, resize it to the smallest size and if you now elevate this tiny bathtub three times, it will fill up the big bathtub with water. Isn't that freaking amazing? A huge thank you and shout out to the sim donut who came up with this hack and posted it on Twitter. I just had to try and it works like a charm. Make sure your bathtubs are in the right spot and then all you have to do is open up the tool menu and scale the small bathtub even smaller to 0.01 in order to make it invisible. Now let's hide the tiny shed. Grab the cottage living bucket or any item you want really and elevate it from the basement. Again you can use the ceiling or the bathtub as a guide. Now you're lucky if you placed it perfectly. But in case you have to adjust its placement like I did, open up the tool menu with Shift T, 
Toggle the bucket active with the left click on it and then pull it into right place using the gravity pull function of tool. Hold down alt and left click on an open spot on the ground. The item will get pulled into the direction you clicked on so keep alt clicking and pulling the bucket until it covers up the shed. Optionally I scaled the bucket to 1.1 to cover up all sides of the shed as you can still access it from the top. Depending on what item you're using, just leave a tiny bit of the shed visible somewhere. Now we have the single shed done and now I will show you how you can reuse what you just made and how to build a barn out of it. As we build two rooms in the very beginning, we can now save these rooms to our library and place as many as we want. Click somewhere on the flooring or the wall so your room is selected and then save it to your library. Do the same with the basement level. Now open up your library and puzzle together the two parts. You can leave space in between or place them side by side, however you like and whatever design you're going for. I placed three side by side just as an example. The very last thing you want to do is to remove the rooms on the basement. Do this by dragging the walls like you see here so your items will stay in place. Not only will this remove the shadow that the dog created, but it also will fix the lighting on the items. Now let's add a roof and make it a stable. Expand the roof and add some walls all around your sheds. In order to open these up, remove the walls of your sheds inside and you will end up with a barn with enough place for maybe some chicken coops as well. Add a roof, decorations, whatever you want until you got the animal housing of your dreams. You can add hay, plants, more buckets or stools, just keep in mind to always place it from the basement to prevent them from blocking the shed. And there you go! Now you know how you can make single sheds, fresh water troughs and also how to build a barn with your own building kit. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and bear with me, it's my first tutorial as I mentioned. I really hope you find this tutorial helpful and would totally love to see what you come up with if you use this. If you post pictures of your sheds and barns, please tag me so I can check out all of your beautiful creations. As always, I will leave a link to all creators I mentioned in the description box down below. I hope you enjoyed the video and to see you around next time. Until then, bye bye!